Greetings. Come on, I'm smiling today, people. <laughs> the City League Sports Show here in the studio. Come on, everybody. This is going to be a fun one. We got West High School boys basketball coach and alumni. He's an alum of West High School. We got Mr. Ike Jefferson, and Ike is joined today by one of his phenomenal athletes, young man named Jamir Johnson. In the house, I'm your host, Dr. Vince Clarino, and we about to chop it up and talk about it. Coach, we're going to save you for a second on this one because you're all things West Side. We're going to start with this young man. Say hello to everybody. Say your name. Tell them what grade you in. Tell them what you do. Tell them maybe why you cool. Anything, man. Go ahead and loosen it up a little bit. Uh, I'm Jamir Johnson. Uh, go to West, you know. Always stayed out West my whole life. Little League football, all that. Who'd you play for? Hilltop Cowboys. Hilltop Cowboys, okay. Yeah. You got to have more than that. Come on. Is that, is What grade you in? What do oh, you do? Yeah, I, I'm a junior. Uh, I play football, basketball. I just started track too. Okay. My, yeah, it's my first year doing track. But can you run? Started. Are you? Are, can you? You got? Do you, are you just? You just out there getting it? Just? Nah. Just? Just staying involved? No, nah, I can run for sure. Can you? Okay. Okay. Coach. Coach. I like. I. 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 I, I feel like it's come full circle for a guy like me. Um, Coach, say hello to everybody, man. How's everybody doing? Happy to be here. Thanks for having us. No, no, no. I, hey, I'm, I'm honored for you to be sitting in the seat with us here today. Um, you know, I, I'm going to dive right in. Mm -hmm. Coach, you you are a West Side graduate. You graduated from West High School. When you was there as an athlete, playing basketball, a um, lot of success. Before we even get into it, though, I'm, I'm just curious, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask a player kind of in the same realm, do, like, do, do y'all really know in and around the school as players, as kids walking around? Do y'all know how bad this dude was? I mean, I, I hear about it all the time. Do you? So, yeah. who, who, who do you hear from? Do you hear from just people in general or do you hear from coach himself? Him. <laughs> Him. Everybody for real. Everybody knows, yeah, don't they? A lot of people. Yeah. Coach, when, when you look back on it, man, I mean, you know, y'all dominated City League championships for three years. Y'all were playing at a high level. What, what what jumps off the page at you, man, when you think back of those years? What was it, 98, 99, 2000, or 99? Actually, um, I got two cities. You got two cities. When I left, his dad, his dad has a city championship. But what jumps off the page is mm. the brotherhood that we had. Okay. It was like everybody from our neighborhood went to that school. Everybody always talking about the, the neighborhood schools. You should go here. You should go there. We ain't had that problem. Everybody else from our neighborhood went to West. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, so you look back on it and, and you got those memories. You, so you played with 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 his father. Y'all were his dad was one year younger than me. When, okay. But, but when I left, like he was he was one of them guys. He was still on the team though. Yeah, so, so y'all yes, were on. The, he was he was in the program. You saw his dad mm -hmm. in the gym. Did you did you know that your dad and him were around? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Indeed. Okay. So, well, 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 so you playing? You got two cities. Mm -hmm. His father comes along, grabs him a city. And everybody in the neighborhood goes to West. Um, is, is that the biggest memory for you? Is this that man like like you just remember the kids you grew up with? Here y'all are now getting it in high school. Actually, yeah. I mean, I, I mean because at that time it was it was all about sports. It was you didn't have to worry about no bills. You didn't have to worry about yeah. nothing but just going to school, taking care of your business, and and playing some basketball. That's certainly, all. certainly. Um, I, and the reason why I asked that man is because um, you know we, we've had a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. And and obviously, um, and, and 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 with all due respect, right? Brookhaven gets gets his fair share of accolades on a sports show. If you're in Columbus City, <laughs> you are gonna have a lot of Brookhaven talk, right? And, and that's, I know that's before your time, but but I'm sure you hear the Brookhavens yeah, uh, here and there. Uh, the the old football coach, Mr. Andrick. Okay. He, he talks oh. to me about it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Coach Andrick uh, West uh, out there with West right now. He's a good guy. You know, he, he's he's a Brookhaven guy. But y'all y'all beat Brookhaven in city championship games. Where you know mm -hmm. here they coming in. So, so, so do you have memories of, of those games and, and that type of stuff, man? See, see a lot of those games. It was kind of like playing our brothers because we all play AAU together. Mm. Uh, they, they was the bullies of the bunch. Everybody know that. Everybody, right. I, mean, I, I call it spade to spade. Brookhaven yeah. was the school. Certainly. But yeah, they, 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 they had their fair share of success. Yeah, they definitely did. And it, it kind of, I, I was confused how they, why they closed with all the success that they were having. But. Oh yeah, what well, takes more than some sports maybe, but we, we, we won't get too deep into yeah. politics. I want to get into the games. <laughs> I mean, like when y'all played them though. Standing room only. 
Standing room Standing only. Standing room only up at Otterbein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the games were being held at Otterbein for a time period there. Yeah, I still, um, I still got some some tapes of that. Do you right. still have video of it? I do. When you look back on on it in, in your time, and, and, and I share this, so I got to keep mixing you in because it, it, let, let me share the unfortunate part for you today, John Mir. <laughs> um, <laughs> We could do a whole show on your coach. Right. You know what I mean? A one-on-one. -on -one. We could sit here and talk basketball with this guy. So I got I, I got to pause him because I don't want to get too deep into it. Um, what kind of coach is he, man? And, and this, hey, look, right now you get to say what you want to say, right. space man. So so jump in on him. I mean, is he is he? I control your minutes. No, no, he does not today. He does. Hey, look, did y'all hear that, listeners? He, he does not control your minutes. And, and let me say this: he probably couldn't afford to not play you, though. Is that is is that fair? Come on, you can beat your chest a little bit. You're, you're a first-team All-City guy. I mean, if, it's, it's going to be harder to win if I ain't on the court. There you go, man. I love that right there. It's going to be harder to win if you ain't on the court. So we were talking before we started the show, and, and everybody, we'll, we'll get back to Coach. Coach has a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of meat that we can dive into, but I don't want this young man's moment um, to get lost. So, so during, during, during pre-show here, as we were getting warmed up, you, you know, you said you're doing track for the first time, mm -hmm. but, you, but you're a multi-sport kid. Yes, and um, from what I hear, man, as equally as talented on the football field. So when you look at it, is, is one of the sports your thing? Or, or are you just t – t tell me about your approach to it, man. So when I was younger, I started out playing football. Okay. Like, since I was like four years old, I was always playing football. And then – Who's responsible I, for that? Is that dad or yeah, mom or dad? So my dad. mom and my dad for real. Okay, so mom and dad said, let's get him into football. You running around doing football. Yeah, because my dad was coaching the Little League team too. Oh, okay. And, okay. Uh, was your dad a multi-sport guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so he played football and basketball as well. Yeah. All right. And then probably like third grade, that's when I really started getting into basketball more. Okay. And then uh, I kind of stopped liking football until like till I got back into high school. And then I played my freshman year. I didn't play my sophomore year, and then I just came back and played again this year. Okay. And first, from from what I understand, you bowled out. Yeah, first team All City guy. You yes, bowled sir. out and had a good year. Yes, sir. So so now as you as you're concluding a junior year, and you're doing track. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, keeping yourself engaged, and, and now you look into your senior year. Or, or is it still the plan to do to do everything still? Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes kids say, ah, maybe I'm gonna <laughs> focus on one sport or another. But, mm. but I mean, I've seen you play. You, you're a bad dude on, on, on both arenas, man. Do you, sure. Like, uh, like when when you're out there, um, you know, are, are you saying to yourself, like, like, what's your approach? What's your mentality getting into it? I, I don't know. I, I just play for real. Like, well, that's how I was with football. Okay. With football, I was just going out there. Like, yeah. Because I, I didn't start playing until like. A week before the first game I didn't play like at all in the summer okay so I was really just playing at first and then it, I got a lot of success from it so certainly yeah this is the most arrogant dude there ever was playing football is, is, he, <laughs> is, he, is, he, be, is he being a little modest on us right arrogant. now man we talk, we were talking trash one day he was like just throw me the ball just give me the ball I'll, don't throw it to them just throw it to me just, if ever you get in trouble give it to me exactly. like, <laughs> but like y'all give me the ball we, something good gonna happen like, I love it yes indeed did you say I mean hey um but 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 um, so and knowing that and having that level of confidence, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and coach calls it arrogance. I'll call it confidence, right? And so in having that energy, um, do you try to help your team? I mean, do, 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 you, do you share that confidence from a leadership standpoint or an arrogance standpoint? I mean, as a leader, for sure. But, like, you know, playing around and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How, 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 how is the um, – in, in your opinion as a student, and I'm, and I'm curious to hear coaches in a moment here, but how is it, in your opinion, the, the sports culture of West? Because, I mean, at one point, you know, you had a lot of high end stuff and then, and then maybe, you know, some of, the, some of it dwindled off. And now it seems like there's a resurgence, like it's on a comeback. Do, do, can you feel that or yeah, do, what do you see definitely. as a student? Uh, especially like, you know, with all the media and stuff that have been coming, we're getting a lot of more fans. The, okay. the crowd is getting bigger. A lot more people is talking about us, so he is definitely coming back up. Okay. Coach, what, what do you think? You come into – this is year one for you, right? Year one at the helm. Um, what does it mean coming back and, and coaching at your alma mater, man, and then also kind of knowing some of the struggles? What made you say this is the challenge I want to take on? It's always been – it's a dream job for me. And okay. I don't, I don't take the responsibility lightly. Okay. Um, like he said, a lot of media coverage – and that's the gift and a curse at yeah. times because, to be honest with you, sometimes I hate it because uh. these guys be looking for, for the cameras and all that. And then 
the time when it's, when it's a gift, I'm like, hey, they're here to see y'all play. They ain't come to see me coach or right. the, ref, the ref, you know, give them, give them a show. I'm telling them that, you mm-hmm. know, and a lot of times when I say that, they they, they do their best to give them a show. Yeah. What, 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 what do you think um, for you, where, like, where, where, where do you want to see it go? I mean, is, is, I mean, is your time period, when you look back at it on a 30-year stretch, is that, is that time period 90, let's say 96 to 2002, three, is that the, is that the glory days in your opinion? Definitely the glory days, but we, we know it's not an overnight thing. We got to put the work in and, okay. and to their credit, they've been putting the work in. So yeah, like I tell them, just play as hard as you can, make the smart decisions and we'll live the results. You, you, you share some names. So, so, so let's do some, let's do some West side love here for a moment. Right. You, you, you share some names in, in, in pre-show. Um, and I think there's some names that everyone knows. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows Big Ed, mm-hmm. right? Everyone knows Mike's name, Mike Red, for our, for our listeners. Everyone knows who, who in the basketball community knows Kevin's name, mm-hmm. right? And everybody knows your name, right? You, you, you can say, mm-hmm. And, and, and if you don't, I'll say it for you. Everybody knows who <laughs> like Jefferson basketball. If you're in the basketball, I'll say it for you. Who, who, who are the names West Side that you think maybe on, on, on this platform, we're talking West Side, we're talking about West High School athletics. Who who's some guys that, that, that we that we also our listeners need to know from a basketball standpoint? Is from a basketball some, standpoint, it's it's a few. Um Tayron Wembley. Tayron Wembley, yes indeed. Uh, Charles Holland. Charles Holland, yes indeed. And, and and they're a little bit after that two thousand mm-hmm. two. Those guys are late two thousand tens guys, right? Maybe a little bit. Tim Walker, Art Saunders. Yeah. You know, I, I can go on off of my teams, but Jason Waters. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah. some guys that that didn't even get to play that. Oh my, I know every school has them. Right. But like I said, but y'all had a little bit more yeah. than most, I think, man. Y'all, like, like y'all, y'all had a good stretch there where it was just, y'all was just running with it and, and, and night in and night out. Nigel Mills, you know. Yeah. He was first team all city. You know, are these are, are are these so do you still get to keep in touch with some of the guys man do people now are some of them showing up because at least if nothing else they hear you coaching let's just come out and watch I coach a game yeah they've been there they've been have there. they and they make a big big difference yeah big difference like I try to open up the locker room for them guys so they Certainly. come in there I mean it's just little stuff but it's little to me but it's big to them. Certainly. You know, and just having them around it makes it makes the world a difference. What's the special sauce? What's the special sauce, Jamir? On <laughs> on the west side. What's making it work? What's the special sauce that makes it work? Are y'all just are y'all locked in? What is it? I feel like it's just everybody everybody know each other or everybody's like related to somebody or know each other from somewhere yeah. or somehow. Okay. Does does, does that does that make it um as a student, does that make it work for you as you're a kid every day walking the hallways? Does that make it work for you? Yeah, definitely. I Go think, ahead, coach. I, I, I see think, you thinking. I think, uh, one, of the, one of the main things is like our kids are staying home. Yeah. Like I said, like yeah. when he came back home, certainly that was major because you know, like I know, players want to play with players. Yeah, they you do. Know, they don't want to go to a, a team where ain't nobody there. Right. Be right. there, so guys are like. Oh, I'm out. I'm Certainly, out. I need to stay there too. Yeah, and and, <laughs> you know? and then on top of that, man, like um, somebody has to be willing to step up, right? Like somebody has to be that guy. Do, do you do you see that? Do you feel coaches leaning on you? Whether it's you know Coach Jefferson here or your football coach, do you feel guys? Do you feel them leaning on you to a degree? Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. because you because you have to walk it and talk it every day, right? Mm-hmm. Um, is that is that a, is that a role you embrace? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um. So you you mentioned mom and dad. Do are, are they a part of the support that has allowed you to get into this energy of being a leader? Yeah, my mom. She she do so much for me. Like she. Oh, uh, well, that means. Yeah. My, hey, look. So we have a theme on this show. If you heard it before. You got to give mom's name. Give her some love on the show. Tabitha, and this is really her last name. I'm not <laughs> making this up. Give it to us. Tabitha Sampanta Bansuk. Wow. Okay. Yes, indeed. So, mom. Mm-hmm. So, so, mom. You get love. <laughs> young man is sitting here today, and, and so she, it's, and she's a part of your rock. Then she's a part yeah. where you lean when when you need to lean on somebody. You lean on mom. Yeah. I share yeah. that all the time, man. It's important for parents to understand their role, especially with your children. Um, who's the honest person in your circle when you play bad? Who tells you you played bad? Is that who who, who comes to you and says, Ah, you played bad today? Does somebody give you that? Uh, my cousin. Oh wow! My co- okay. With my cousins, yeah, they'll let you know. Yeah, you you, you got to keep people like that around. Coach, what about you? Is there somebody you don't got to say their name? I don't want everybody to to know. <laughs> but but is there somebody that can come to you and say, Coach, man, what's up today? Y'all wasn't on it. I'll say his name. Oh okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a few. Well, yeah. My whole coaching staff, of course. Certainly. Chad Ivory. Uh, right. Um, 
Maurice Bell. Yeah. Keith Neal. Keith Neal. Of course, my mom. Wow. Okay. So I got to say her name too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you, yeah, you come over here, man. You, you, you got to say mom's name on here. Her name is Teresa Hargrove. Yeah. So so the reason why I say that, man, is because, so, so now let's go back for a minute. We're, we're going to talk a little history, okay? I want you to mm-hmm. hear how, how cold this dude, this guy really is, man. Mm-hmm. Um, you're all city guy, all district guy, all state guy. Um, you guys are playing at this high level. How, how, how do you get from West High School to Hampton? What's that journey? That journey really was an accident, to be honest with you. Okay, I break mean, it down for it. Give, give it. give it to our listeners. At that time, you know, where coaches could call you, we had answer machines back then. Certainly, yes, and so, hit the button. Yeah, so as soon as we get home, everybody running home to see, I mean, I mean, messages they got left. But, okay. Um, I got a call probably like 7 o'clock after we came in from playing basketball at the Ashburn Center at the time. Okay. And it was Coach Huckabee. And he was like, hey, I seen you playing AAU. We was looking for this guy, uh, Ronnie Williamson at Briggs. That's my guy, Ronnie yep. Williamson. Yeah. And he was like, but we saw you. And I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to play the – Yeah, I okay. Really, I don't need this this right. phone call. Right. And he was like, we want you to come down here and uh, take a visit. And I looked mm. at my mom like, they want me to take a visit. You know, yeah, I'm certainly. Like, I'm like, where, where is it at? I didn't even know where it was at. Okay. It was like, it's by Virginia Beach. I'm like, I ain't never been to Virginia. Well, I don't even right. know where that's at for real, to be honest right. with you. Yeah. And uh, she was like, you want to go? I'm like, yeah, we can go. Went down there. I seen what was down there, and I was fell like, in love immediately. Yeah, immediately. It was an accident. When, when you so so when, when you look back on it, um, and some of your opportunities, did, did did Hampton work for you? Was when like when you got there, you fell in love. Did, did did it become home for you? Not not right off the bat. I was uh. I was homesick. I tried to come home. My mom told me, "No, nah, you made that that decision. You can stick with I, it." I think that's all of our story, to be honest with you, man. But go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. Go yeah. ahead, though. She yeah. was like, "No, nah, you made a decision. Right. You gonna stick with it?" And I, I was pissed. Okay. But it definitely worked out for me because, to be honest, I would do it all over again, the same way. Certainly. I met some lifelong friends, which I call family now. Right. And it's, that's where I should have been. Yeah. Um. So, so going to it, I, I, I want to hear from you. Do, do you have some memories? From playing at West, that that I know you talked about the brotherhood, mm-hmm. but do you have some basketball memories that that stand out for you that that make you like? Is there a night? Is there a game? Is there a sequence of games? A shot? Is there something that stands out to you? Is it my first time playing against Esteban Weaver? My sophomore mm. year, okay. My first, that class ninety seven. Ninety seven was low. That, that, that was to me. You know, I'm I'm biased with ninety nine, but ninety seven was the best. Yeah, ninety seven was loaded animals. around the city. Like they, like I said, Kenny and Esty at Independence. Then you, we played. Um, that year we played Westland twice, mm. and Doug Davis was that guy. Yeah, yeah, he, I remember he, Doug Davis. He, he gave us forty at West. Okay, he, he gave me six, him seven, him nine, him eight. He, right. every, everybody got some of that. Was 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 Doug a ninety seven kid? Yeah. I didn't remember that. Okay, I yeah. thought I thought Doug was ninety eight. Okay, so Doug is a ninety seven guy, mm-hmm. and then and then obviously in your own house though you got Mike and you got Kevin, right? But I didn't appreciate them because mm, you just saw them every day. Every day. So so really didn't <laughs> know. That that them guys was really them guys then. Yeah, and and I don't oh, think wow. the guys appreciate him that like that. Yeah, like I try to challenge him in practice. I put two guys on him in practice because I know the boxing one coming. Right, and he's still and he's and still, still figuring it out. And I'm like, and I'm getting mad at them. Yeah, but I'm 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 really not appreciating His what he greatness. really doing. Yeah, what you what know? he's doing right there to make the to yeah. make that work. Um, <laughs> you 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 name some special guys. You you, you name playing against Esteban and Kenny and those guys. Um, what. Was there other teams around it? Because you were a sophomore then, right? So, so then '98, your junior and senior year, is that is that your takeover time period? Yeah, '97, '98. That was that was my year. We we um, that's our first city. Okay. Let me be Brookhaven, Antoine yeah. Lavender, yeah, you know, Leon over here at Eastmore. Mm-hmm. You got the Turner. Turner young, brothers. Young, yeah, yeah, younger they, Turners they, at Mifflin. Yeah, Mifflin. Yeah, it, it was it was some guys everywhere. Yeah. And yeah, that that was my year in the South, of right. course. It was it was me in the South, Leon. Then you had Chuck Warren at Whitehall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Chuck. Yeah. Adam Wolf at Westerville South. It, it was it was basketball. Yeah, basketball, basketball Central was Ohio was, was was definitely so rich. Now now let, so we got to get to this one here. Mm-hmm. Your senior year, ninety eight, mm-hmm. ninety nine, right? Your senior year. Yeah. Y'all were rolling. Y'all were y'all were ranked <laughs> number two in the state. Have you heard this story yet? <laughs> no, oh, well, let's, well, let's, ears, well, let's have. Ears. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this one. I mean, y'all were rolling 17 and 0, mm-hmm. number two ranked Division One school in the state. Hadn't lost any game, 
Each opponent, one after another, y'all was just slaying each, each opponent, slayed the dragon, yeah. and then y'all come up on the on the second go around of the of the, of the, of the double round robin. Mm -hmm. Y'all got Walnut Ridge at Walnut Ridge, and then Walnut Ridge snuck out of there with a win. The rest was cheating. The rest was cheating. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So, so, so here, here, here's what I want you to hear, young man. So that's back when I was coaching. Uh -huh. um, I was an assistant coach on on that staff, and I remember doing the prep that week. I remember watching film, and I'll say this, and, I, and I'm watching film, and he knows this. I mean, I got a lot of love for your coach here, and I'm sitting there thinking, man, I don't see any way that we can beat these guys. Like, that's that was my honest thought. As a coach, I'm looking at film, I'm watching it. I said, there's no way we could beat these guys. And then I noticed, though, and he might remember this, so they used to do after a made basket, they would do full court press. They would put Ike on the ball, and he got the, you know, I'm, for, for, for our radio listeners, I'm stretching my hands all the way, but his arms was way longer than my right. He'd be on the ball, and he's getting all these deflections and tips and everything, man. Mm -hmm. So it's almost impossible to even get the ball in bounds. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and like you, and that's why I said when I noticed you on the basketball court, he had an engine and a motor just nonstop, man. Just never got tired, kept on playing. Mm -hmm. Um, so all we did the whole entire first half was just throw the ball over his head. Mm -hmm. We didn't even try to get the ball in bounds to a guard. We just threw it over his head, and we figured if we turn the ball over in the backcourt, then at least we got some time to set up on defense when they come down, right, as opposed to turning the ball over here in the front court and one of them guys just get a layup, which is what happened to most teams. Mm -hmm. So all we did was throw the ball over their head for the whole first half. And I remember in the second half we were sitting there, mm -hmm. and they had scored – and they went back on defense. I had never seen them do that. They, they went back into a regular defense half court. And I said, oh, we got us a regular ball game now. <laughs> and, I, and that was a difference. But, they, but you all still went on to win City and all those things your senior year, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, hearing, hearing that type of love, um, what is it going to take as, you, as you're a part of maybe we can call it – is it fair to say rebuild, rebirth, rebuild? Is, is that a fair comment? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is it going to take from you next year as a senior – to come in and, and help um, get things back to where coach knows it to be, where your community knows it to be? What's it going to take? Because it's, it's got a lot of eyes on you. Yeah, I, I feel like we just – I got to get everybody all on the same page, everybody putting in the work every day, and just make sure we all just come together as a team. Well, I, I hear you say that. What What, what is it going to take for you to be able to make that happen, you think? Getting everybody to practice. And even outside of practice, just – get some shots up, just make sure people is there. Yeah. Um, are, are, are guys, do you, do you think that, that like, it, people, all the kids, guys at the school, are they buying into that? Not everybody. It's it's a it's a good amount, but not, not everybody. Not where it needs to be. Yeah. It's a couple of guys that, 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 that need a little bit extra love. Yeah. So, so I, I'm not going to put you on the spot in that respect. Um, th this is what I will say, though. Um, for you, for you guys that's out there listening, you current, you current West Side, uh, West High School guys walking the hallways every day. Something special is going on inside your building. Go, mm -hmm. go, be a part of it. You know what I mean? Like, sure. um, open it up and, and and let me share this and 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 I, and I can share this with you. Um, w w one of the biggest accolades I think any person can give to a coach is to say, like, you know, I would feel comfortable. Or I would I, I I I would be great if you was coaching my own children. You know what I mean? Like like I would put my son in your hands any day. Hey man, here man, go. You know what I mean? Um, and and so I I want people to know that like man, especially if it, I don't know that there's a better person that could lead West basketball right now. What's the what's the challenge that you see right now, Coach? What, what I mean, you know the uh, what's the obstacles? What's the challenge for the you? Biggest challenge for me is being consistent. But for, I want them to see I'm there early. Why can't you be there early? Mm. I'm there late. Why can't you be there late? Okay. I mean, I'm so happy that he was honest with his answer saying not everybody's on board because we still got some guys that, that was there. I, I, I call it the loser mentality. Okay. You know, guys, oh, we down, so let's, let's just go ahead and quit. Or let's just, no. Nah. I, I, I say it all the time to them. I say it's guys that look for reasons to quit. Yeah. And it's guys that look for reasons to to win to prevail, yeah. Yeah, and you know, when when you when you've lost so long that it becomes normal to you. And that's not normal. I, I tell them all the time. I'm right. A winner. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna win. Hundred percent you are. You yes know? indeed. So these guys they you know, you know as well. You gotta learn how to win. It gotta just don't learn, happen. You gotta learn how to win. Happen. Yes indeed. You can be up ten with four minutes, like, oh it's over. No. You right. Still got, you gotta close the game. You yeah. got certain things you gotta do. That's certainly you know? right. And they're learning and it's good for me to see it, the process, because I've seen us losing. I've seen us 
Lose, turning the lose, corner. Yeah, and I see us getting there. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, the, you 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 know the recipe, like you said. Stay stay in the lab, get in the gym. Um, I mean, it's certainly great. I I, I advocate for every young person to be multiple multiple sport involved, right? Because the more things you do, the more engaged you you, you just add another um, caring adult in your life. Somebody that cares about. It. Somebody to say, hey man, you know, don't do that. Don't don't go down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. um, but then by all means, right? So so you, you, you have this huge um, kind of burden, right, with a multiple sport guy because you get into June, there's some basketball stuff going on, but you also got football stuff going on. Um, g give advice to your peers. What, what What's the best way to balance having such a heavy a heavy load? What, what's, the, what's the best way to balance that? I'm still trying to figure out how to balance it, but okay. I feel like the best way is to plan ahead and just not just like just go with the flow of things. Like you got to have a – a schedule and you got to know what you're doing. Okay. Okay. D do you have someone in your corner that's helping you with that when you say playing ahead or are you, are you figuring that out on your own? My mom. Your mom. Okay. Yes. And she keeps on yeah. coming up. Yes, indeed. That's that. Well, and, and, and lean on coach. Co mm -hmm. Coach can help you yeah, with those coach, things coach too, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, like I can see it from, from the outside. Right. And, and you, you mentioned something a second ago, coach Jefferson, where you said, um, you said like sometimes you're doing drills, mm -hmm. You can't you you know you can't maybe recognize his gift because it's just every day you see it right. You put two guys on him and he's still getting out and and breaking the press or retreat dribble and turning the corner that type of thing. Um, you were living with guys like Mike and, and and Kevin and just these are just regular guys in the hallways having fun, right? Um, are you right now? Are you in the moment that you can that you can see the turnaround happening? I, I can actually, um, and it's crazy because. Like last week, I was sitting down watching some film in my office, and they came by, and I told them, I said, "Y'all need to watch these games now, yeah, because during the season we watching them, we we moving on. Right. Now you can really actually you looking at them from Digested. a different lens for real, yeah. And I think that's that's major. Okay. Um, speaking of that, and, and we can't get out of here without this. Like I said, there's so much you we we could do an entire show like I shared on on your coach by yourself or one on one. Um, I, I, I want to give you a chance to share. You, you get to Hampton, you had a little homesick, and we talked about that. But but then but then it goes on and things work out for you. Um, let's talk about the March Madness opportunity, man. Right? I mean, at least share that love and share, share it from the lens of a guy out there playing. It was it was, it was one of the greatest. That that probably was my greatest basketball accomplishment mm. in college, getting to the tournament and getting that upset against Iowa State, Jamal Tinsley, and that team. Because again. For me, y'all were a 15 seed. 15 seed. It was it was a, a team full of guys that should not have been there. Should not have been to the at, at, no at Hampton at all. At Hampton, oh, okay. We, we got me player of the year. We got this guy player of the year in his state. This player of the year in his state. And we, I think we shouldn't have been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? you're, say, you're saying from the, from from the accomplishments, mm -hmm. like you all end up at a spot that maybe wasn't traditionally known for basketball. But you got all these successful guys on the team, and and, and then in turn, though, y'all become successful. Exactly, and then. What people don't know is Ty Hahn Johnson, coach at Northland, he was almost there. Oh, wow. I, I, I hosted him. Did you on, he, on, on a visit? But he turned his back on me. Wow. That <laughs> that, that, now, 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 that would have been an interesting story, man. Yeah. But, that, but but that's interesting to hear that, Ty Hahn. So, so he came on a visit. He came on a visit. Um, you know, it was me there, Devin Green. Devin from Green Beach from Croft, Beechcroft, yes, and indeed. And Ty came on his visit. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got one. Right. He turned his back on me. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't been yeah. the same since. So, so, you got, so you guys get this huge upset. Um... 15 seed over at number two. Mm -hmm. In a sense, you're, you, you were sort of in an underdog role. However, like you said, you were a winner. So, so you bring winning from West, you bring winning to Hampton, and then now here you are trying to bring winning back to West. It's, it, I mean, it takes a village. Okay. You know, and I feel like our village has been there for us and they're going to continue to be there for us. And as long as they're there, we're we gonna keep building. It's, it's not going. It's not going to happen overnight. We understand it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it. Right. But as long as the guys keep putting the work in, alumni keep getting behind us, we're gonna be all right. Yeah. But the beauty is, um, if you're having to build something, it doesn't hurt to have a young man like this while you're building it. No doubt about it. Right. I mean, you know, you it's it, it's a lot of people would love to have this young man on their team. 
A lot of people, yeah. I, I, I ain't going to get into that part either. But, oh, but I the, didn't the, mean the, that. The I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, I yeah. I, I, yeah I, <laughs> when, I say, when I say it's a lot of people, I'm talking about talent-wise. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'm talking about talent-wise. I, I, I'm sharing it from the standpoint. Look, you and know you're, what I'm look yes, indeed. We all do. No, right. So, so, so radio <laughs> listeners, everybody, we all, I think we all understand. And I didn't mean it that way. I'm speaking to his talent. I think everybody would be lucky to have a talented player like him on their team mm -hmm. and an opportunity to build some things. Um, I think it's beautiful that you all were here, man. We, we, we as a show, um, we, we're trying to showcase and share the love. Um, we get a we, 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 we get a, we get a double winner here today. We get a young man who's um, a part of the future of West. We get we get you here as um, a legacy guy, man, leading West High School's athletics and basketball program and all the success that you had. Um, you know, they, they're giving me that they're letting me know we, we're, we're towards the end of the show here today, so we're going to wrap. But before I turn it to you, Coach, we'll, we'll go with you second today. Um, John Mir, share anything you want to share, man. Anything I didn't talk about that you want you want everybody to know, man. West Side, anything, anything, and it don't. Have have to be, but does anything pop in your mind? Uh, just shout out my teammates. Yeah, <laughs> that 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 ain't here right now. I got you. Yes, indeed. So so y'all heard? Hey, look, come be a part of something special. It's, it's it's some good stuff going on over there. Um, coach, what you got? What you what you got as we get out of here today? Uh, we appreciate you having us. Sure, that, that's thank the first you. thing that came to my mind. I appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. No, this was an easy one. Y'all are a no brainer, man. Mm -hmm. and, and like I said, you know. Um, I don't need to keep saying it, but coach, your, your body of work, the things that you do for Columbus City Schools, um, what you do for West High School, young people in the community are lucky to have you around, right? You're, you're real, you're tangible, somebody they can touch and see and talk to. Um, so yeah, man, we, we, we rap on, on on that level of love. Uh, I'm gonna call it West Side Winter Love. You know what I mean? Like you said, man, you're a winner. I'm gonna call it West Side Winter Love, man. And um, that brings us to the end of today's show. So everybody out there, thank you for listening. Um, love and appreciation to you all today as our guests. Yes, sir, thank really, you. Really, really love and appreciation. Um, catch all our future episodes on Radio WCBE 90.5 FM. Individuals, you can also listen to the current and past shows on Apple, Spotify, or the platform you prefer to listen to your favorite podcast follow us on instagram at city league sports 614 look for us next time good people i'm your host vince clarino this is city league sports